My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. We're going to be continuing with our attempt at the Ascension 10 Heartbreaker. Ooh. Lose all gold in order to obtain a random rare relic. Ooh, Peace Pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites. Well, now I immediately have to try and plan around what will almost certainly be a loss uh, in trying to make a really, really thin deck. So ideally, what would that be? Just path to victory constantly. Pretty sure that's what it'd be for me, at least. Mm, oh no. Never mind, we did get both the eruption strike in the same hand. Got the kill. No. No, you can't make me take any of those. I'm also intentionally going to go to a bunch of fights here early, rather than question mark spaces, just so I can try and pick up a card that will help me actually win this. Beautiful. Single Bowling Bash is just a nice card to have. Let's use Eruption Bowling Bash and then a Coin for a Strike next turn. No. I can dream, can't I? Would have been so good. Signature move? What if my deck is just one attack and it's signature move? <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Fine. Let's do that. So the idea so far as it stands is build a deck where signature move is the only attack I ever play. Eh, it could work. I've heard crazier things. That'll get us our full defense at least. Beautiful. Uh, talk to the hand. No, no, not with the signature move being my only attack in the entire deck. We're making this happen. Don't you dare think otherwise. This is going to happen. It's going to be incredible as well. Exactly enough for the kill there. And then... Beautiful. Giant kill with the signature move afterwards. Nope. So this is... Toke for a card removal on a strike. I'm going to want that eruption out of the deck as well, actually. Thankfully, I know that the rest of the deck isn't going to have that many attacks in it, so I know that I should be able to play my signature move. Ooh, hang on. Nope, it's in the new cycle. Could be a problem. No, it's fine. Wave of the Hand is definitely good for this kind of deck. Uh, just because any turn I'm not playing signature move, I'm just going to be full defending. Let's cut another attack out. We've got this. We've got this. Back preparation at the start of combat, draw traditional cards. All right, deck is a little bit thinner now. Gouged and trampled by a horned beast. All right, fine. Um, I think I will use Strength Potion in this fight. Wave of the hand next turn is going to be really rough. All right. Gonna weaken the enemy for two turns here. Ooh, it's still a big hit. Fine. I'll have to change form. How dare you. Thankfully, we get enough back. 
Happy player over three turns gain in energy as well as uh, perseverance, judgment. Judgment's not an attack. It can go in this deck. Perseverance seems better though. I should have just used Vigilance, though. No real reason not to. Alright, here's our extra energy turn, at least. Get an extra weekend on that frontliner, just in case it matters this next turn. All's well. Uh, yep, nope. All of those have in common that they are attacks. I'm leaving the money. I don't... I'm going to need a little bit more HP for the final fight. Hang on. Uh, 13, and then, no, we're just short of lethal already. The deck needs to be significantly thinner than this before we can actually be pleased with it. It'll work, though. Gee, damn it. It'll work. Perfect. I mean, Wave of the Hand needs to be upgraded as soon as possible. That's like a priority upgrade in this deck right now. No, we can this turn. We have Eruption as well as Signature Move. We've got this. Can't take Wheel Kick. Definitely can't take Windmill Strike. It's risky, but I want to remove the strike. I'm doing it. Just going to try and get a signature move turn off early. Okay, let's have a look at the potions. Uh, guess we'll take devotion. It's not really going to help us though. On early signature move. Signature move is almost certainly in the next hand. Beautiful. So we can throw Eruption and then Signature Move on the back line. And, I mean, this Perseverance is getting to the point that it should be able to block for us. Yep. Got him. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, Brilliance? Master Reality. Whenever a card is created during combat, upgrade it. No, that's not relevant for us. Deus Ex Machina. Helps us play out expensive hands. Brilliance. Heal 3 HP X times. I mean... Brilliance is only good if I'm not doing anything else on those turns. But I think, like, I'm going to either have to defend... Or, like, how many free turns am I going to have to use Brilliance on? Ooh, five on this upgrade now. If Brilliance is ever going to work, it should work for us now. On chip. I mean, Brilliance could offset our need to rest, so we take Coffee Dripper. Fine. We're going to have to rely on that a little bit here. Let's have a look at the Elite Paths. 
Again, there's a path that fights almost no elites and just has a bunch of rest sites so that I can remove more cards. More than happy to take that. So Eruption signature move would kill a target on the field right now. But then I take 12 damage myself. So instead I'm going to wave of the hand, defend, defend. And then Vigilance as well. Keep everyone weakened forever. Because I don't have any multi-hits in this deck, this is going to be a hard fight for us. A bowling Bash to put you on the ground, and then I can Brilliance for 12 HP. Lovely. Got to say, that's getting off to a great start. I'm also really pleased that I put Bowling Bash in this deck. It was ultimately pretty damn necessary. And Wave of the Hand as well. I feel like I'm not trashing the deck, although I am including new cards. Just getting to the ones we need. Okay. And we're all good. <laughs> yeah! Eruption the backliner, and then brutally murder the frontliner. I thought that fight was gonna be hard. Take none of those, but... Ooh, card removal opportunity. I mean, I'm always gonna take that. Uh, I need to leave Bowling Bash at the deck at this point. Eruption needs to be replaced with something that is cheaper to get into Wrath with. I could also just upgrade that Eruption. I'm trying not to go for upgrades, but eventually I will have to upgrade some of the cards here. So 14 two times is 28. Can't kill a target yet this turn. Let's make sure everyone's weakened. Top three cards of your draw pile. If there's no card on top of your draw pile, that shouldn't activate, right? Alright. Whew! Managed to actually kill both of them. Lovely. Consecrate Fear No Evil, a way to enter Calm on attack. No, not necessary. God, if this was a start switch, uh, start switching build, it'd be so good. Oh well, we committed otherwise. Guess I get three health out of brilliance there. Should be enough. Should probably wait until the. Happy Flower is going to be uh, activated sooner for us. There we go. Stole as many turns as I could afford to. Halt. No. No. Again, we shouldn't actually be in Wrath that often. Well, look, if you're going to give me five apparitions in this deck, that's just going to pad out my deck and help me get into my... Like, I can be in Wrath and have Signature Move go off. Yeah, we take them. And at this rate, we just remove defends, pretty much. Yep. Apparition, apparition, eruption. And then get out. Brilliance for heal that I don't need. That's my bad. Why did I do Vigilance first? I could have done a, both of the attacks. It would have been fine. 
Why did I do that to me? It's okay. It all works out in this turn. Alpha, Perseverance, and Prey? Uh, I feel like it should probably be Perseverance. Alright, and now I do actually need to start upgrading cards. Signature move needs its 20 extra damage. 20 because I'm mainly going to be in Wrath. Strawberry, if I'll pick up raising max HP by 7. We'll take the Sapphire Key there. I don't think this build is going to be fine against the Heart. I really don't. Poke the curse immediately out of our deck. We also got the Regal Pillow. Whenever you rest, heal additional 15 HP. We can't rest, so... <laughs> Thanks. Uh, these do not help. Take an Evaluate. Teardrop Locket, Stardage Combat, and Calm? Like, I can. Usually, that would be a lot larger for us. There's Path to Victory. I do kind of want Paths to Victory in this deck as well. Yeah, I'm going to need Paths to Victory in this deck eventually for the heart. Because this seriously just won't be enough damage otherwise. and yeah just get into wrath and then stand in wrath because we have the apparitions and it's fine that'll do <laughs> and now we just need any other attack that we have in the deck or even the wave of the hand. Not wave of the hand, sorry, the, the path to victory. There we go. Power potion. It's one of three random power cards. So that's your hand. It costs zero this turn. Uh, let's throw the weak potion for that. Sands of time that would eventually become a zero cost. No. We can't take long enough to do that. Being able to make the enemies vulnerable with cross joints, though, it's a lot of extra damage. Okay. Path to victory, crush joints, evaluate, and no reason to do anything else. Nope. Apparition would have worn off that turn. Let's go Bowling Bash on one of you and then murder the other for free. Kind of want to wave in the hand and then coin the Perseverance here just for the AoE weakness. There we go. That's where all the apparitions were. Knew they had to be hiding somewhere. Part to victory, bowling bash, and then seem to move the back line here. Just in case another summon happens, I only want one torch head standing there already. Option, evaluate, and then crush joints on the back line. Yeah, I want one of them standing there already, just so that it blocks the spawn of a second one. It's 
90 damage by itself right now, as well as 45. 90 and 45 is not enough. Wave of the hand, insight, play the top three cards in my draw pile. Defend, crush joints, and I change my form. Beautiful. And then just the perseverance afterwards. Managed to bail myself out of that, almost killing myself on the second boss by being in wrath at the wrong time business that I keep doing. Alright, only 18 incoming, it's fine. Let's just keep the enemy vulnerable for a later turn. And now we should just be able to go all out. Beautiful. Whew! Flex Potion as well as Devotion Lessons Learned in Vault. Devotion is pretty good. Although I play attacks so rarely, it might not turn up on the right time for signature. Lessons learned would be nice for upgrading all of my uh, apparitions, but lessons learned and signature move being in the same deck, both of them you want to play as the finisher. Vault. Hmm. No. Nah. How does Vault work with Apparition? Would Apparition, like, decrement? Would the stacks of Apparition on me uh, decrement after I play Vault? Because I know that Frailty that was based on me didn't. So maybe turn-based things like that work like that. Hmm. Hmm. I think I have to hard pass these. Future card awards have two less cards to choose from. Or I can transform both of my defends in the deck right now with Pandora's. Alright, we'll do that. Now shops are the most important way that I can kind of direct my deck. I'm also just dodging all elites this run. I do not think this is going to be able to kill the heart. I think it's an interesting way for the run to go, but I don't think it's going to result in a success. This was largely just, oh, I got the Peace Pipe. Let's try and make something that we can only do with the Peace Pipe happen. Especially because I couldn't find a bunch of Path to Victories, which that totally would have been what I went with. All damage taken. Okay, so it has been reverted fully then. So I can do that and not just get badgered by the thorns. There we go. All's right with the world. Another fire potion. Probably don't need that. Yeah, this is the kind of fight that I am really not certain how I'm going to win. I guess I set one of them up with Bowling Bash, one of them up with Path to Victory, and then try and kill the other one with the signature move. I'm intentionally hitting different targets here and keeping the back one alive. It's okay. Do not worry. Alright. Now do I path to victory the backliner? No, it's this one. 
Because then playing Path to Victory on any target will kill the midliner. Great. This could work. This could work. Insight find signature move as well as bowling bash. Okay, so we can bowling bash to kill the frontliner, signature move to kill the backliner. And then literally all I need is path to victory in the deck. Or eruption crush joints. Either of those work as well. Wallop. Appealing, but it's also a high cost attack and the deck is really thin and I can't really do that to myself. Put two madnesses in the deck? You know, make other things cost zero and we do cycle through the deck pretty quickly. Sure. Let's try that. Hmm. Take Clockwork Souvenir. Start each combat with one artifact. Use that to use the Flex Potion for five extra strength in a fight. It's more important if I get to use it with the Speed Potion, though. Pretty good opening sound right there, I'd say. I mean, I have enough apparitions yet just to survive through all of these turns. Just making sure. Ooh, that one's just a perfect survival as well. And I even get to weaken you for the next turn. Lovely. Yeah, it's going to be potions have to drag me through boss fights here. Sash whip. No. Another attack I don't really want in the deck. Uh, smithing. Fine. I think I'll smith the... One of the madnesses, maybe? No, it's wave of the hand. Especially as the deck gets back to being a little larger, in its first cycle at least. It's becoming more and more important. Gotta find some way to weaken the enemy. And just completely negate the incoming damage attack. Lovely. Apparition, apparition, apparition. Woo! Yeah, signature move by itself is not a deck. <laughs> there are other things that you should probably put in that deck. That said, it's working out here. 120 when it's up, uh, set up perfectly. Uh, skill potion that I'm not going to need. Bowling bash that I'm not going to take. I'm still just going for card removal. Upgrade all cards. You can only get heal. Yeah. Yeah. Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. There's also, by the way, the, the Gremlin... Sorry, the, the Emerald fight is over here. So I've already just screwed up. The start of your second turn, gain 14 blocks. So this was an attempt at the Heartbreaker Chronicles. And it failed because I took the wrong path. Now I'm afraid it's just an attempt at making a signature move slash other cards as well, kind of? Deck work. Making a zero cost signature move and then cycling back into it constantly sounds super fun. And very difficult to set up correctly. I mean, Brilliance is now literally useless in this deck with Mark of the Bloom in here as well. Hundred and sixty-eight, pretty good damage right there. Now I'm about to get like bot straight to death. Oh, 
Maybe the hand, evaluate, and then vigilance my way out of that, getting the enemy weakened. Yikes. Oh god, without getting signature move or the insight in this hand, I may actually... 10, 10, 8. I mean, I can't heal after this point, so I need to try and kill this turn. So this is 5. I mean, look, I'm definitely going... This, this, this. This is now... It'll be 15 by base, and then 15 with the 30% extra is... God, maths, as it turns out. Falling Bash with the vulnerability as well. 21, 21. Oh, God, this isn't going to be enough, is it? Yeah, just shot. Can't use the fire potion for the lethal. That was going to be hell to count, though. All these new stones started to come back with one dex, as well as new. I uh, guess we'll remove Brilliance first. This also just couldn't have killed the heart, as it currently stands. Uh, fasting! That should be negated by my own Clockwork Souvenir. My understanding is that is now affected by artifacts. Hey, hey! It worked! Lovely to see that. Both of the Exploders will explode, dealing no damage to anyone, so we're fine with that. Yeah, because of the Apparitions, their Explosion won't deal any damage to me. So instead, I can focus on killing everyone else. Well, one damage. I should have blocked. My bad. Uh, Liquid Memories. Choose a card from your discard pile and return it to your hand, as well as another Fasting. Yeah. Eventually, I don't need all of my extra energy. Let's smith the original fasting, I think. Whenever a card is created, you can combat upgrade it. It's never really going to happen to us. I guess we take devotion then. Target down. Guess I'll start part to victory there and defend. I'm actually going to return signature move and use that for the kill instantly as well. There we go. Thinning down the playing field as quickly as possible. My jam. All right, we'll double apparition right now and then madness one of you. Fine. Either or is going to be enough for me. Fasting, apparition, and then madness once more. I should now be able to hold apparitions past this point. Oh, of course, there are no more apparitions past this point. Can make it hard to hold them. Alright, let's go. For those attacks. Mm. Insight draws us and activates the cross joints at the same time. I'm going to Vigilance and Miracle and then put out the Perseverance as well. Trying to weaken the enemy for a bunch of turns here. Great. Enemy down. And I should get back into Vigilance by the end of the turn and put an Insight back into my draw pile. Great. Having Perseverance here held as well as nine extra decks is really great for us. It's insight into Crush Joints. Perseverance, Perseverance. 
I'd love to be using Eruption at this point, but I'd also like to not lose. Signature move has to go out, unfortunately, which means that Vigilance can't. It's fine, as long as we weaken the enemy this turn. Still not taking any damage. Being negated some of my energy from this hand is a little bad, though. I'm going to crush joints because I know that I've got the signature move coming up. Hell, I have Eruption in the same turn, possibly. Yeah, sh I should just have Lethal. Yep. Hell yeah. That's just a normal Ascension 10 run where we try and go absolutely nuts with the Peace Pipe. We still ended up with 22 cards in the deck because we added 7 over the course of different events. Uh, but those proved to actually be quite powerful for us. Uh, both of the fastings in the very end came together really, really handily. Uh, I don't know if we would have won that final fight if it was, uh, wasn't for them. So this deck tried to be just a signature move deck. Initially, it wanted to be just a path to victory deck, and then it became a colorless kind of bonus deck that just also happened to have enough to limp over the line. I am actually, in retrospect, kind of glad that that didn't connect, uh, connect, rather collect all of the keys in order to go to the heart, because it just would have been terrifyingly sad to get to the heart and go, and we lose, because this build just cannot do anything to not the heart. All right, goodbye. For the moment, though, my name is Rin Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slate the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.